Hey YouTube, this is Matty J Mania. Um, my name is Matty, obviously. Um, I am going to show you a little bit of my original Nintendo collection. Um, I really like watching people's collection videos and pickup videos and um, game hunting videos. So this is my first video game related video. Um, hopefully I'll do more. Right now I'm doing it like super amateur. I basically have an iPhone set up on a little tripod. Um, I have no editing skills, no anything. So if you have any advice on like decent cheap cameras or any other suggestions, maybe editing software, anything like that, I'm open to hear them. Um, but for today's purposes, I just figured I would at least try to show some of my Nintendo collection. Um, I've just gotten real serious about collecting original Nintendo games pretty recently, um, maybe in the past year or two. Um, uh, my main focus was Super Nintendo for a while, so now I've kind of transitioned to original Nintendo. So I'm going to show off a couple of my, uh, my gems and my own personal favorite games. Um, so we will start with these, these games right behind me. And this one could be the gem of my collection. It's Panic Restaurant. Um, it is uh, very rare, very expensive. Um, I actually got this game in a trade uh, with a member of Nintendo Age and someone who's local, friend of mine. Um, ended up trading some of the Mega Man X games, X2 and X3, X2 with the box, and basically got Panic Restaurant. Um, already had those Mega Man games, so I got them for trade. Um, and end up working out. Um, some other ones that are cons that I consider more gems or rare. Uh, I got Bonk's Adventure with the manual. Um, I actually got this in a pickup. Um, cost me two hundred dollars to get this. A couple consoles. Um, a bunch of games were with it. Um, I'll show you another game later that came with this. But, I mean, the bonks with the manual alone was well worth the $200. But I also had, uh, there's Mega Man 1, Mega Man 6, Baseball Stars 2, um, another game I'll show you in a little bit. Um, just a bunch of pretty solid games. Adventure Island 2, um, a box Nintendo, a regular Nintendo, all for $200. It was probably the best deal I've got so far this year. I got that deal not too long ago. Really excited about it. Um, a couple other of my high-end games. I have uh, Bubble Bobble 2. Um, I got this again from Nintendo Age. This was part of a trade, and I had to put some cash into it. Um, ended up working out. This at the time was um, pretty much like my most sought-after game, so I was really excited to get it. Um, Gameplay on Bubble Bobble 2, it's not as good as Bubble Bobble 1, but it is rare, and it's not bad, it's not a bad game. Um, like this game, which is kind of a bad game, Zombie Nation, um, not the biggest fan of this game, um, it's pretty crappy, I only played it a couple times, I can't really see myself going back to it, um, but it is a rare game, um, rare, expensive. And I am going to hold the camera now just to kind of show you guys some other stuff here. All right, we will move on to some of, let me do this shelf first. This is some more of my rare games. I have uh, DuckTales 2 there, Rescue Rangers 2. Now the Rescue Rangers 2 side looks a little beat up, but the actual, the rest of the game, I'm not going to take it out. The rest of the game is in pretty good shape. Um, got Snow Brothers there, another rare and fun game, Mighty Final Fight. Um, I didn't even realize they made any Final Fights for Nintendo, and then um, I got this, and it, the gameplay on it is really good. Uh, it's a great beat-em-up for the system. Um, I'd recommend it to anyone. Um, again, it's a little more pricey than, say, like Ninja Turtles 2 or Ninja Turtles 3, which are also really good beat-em-ups, but um, I like it. Uh, Gargoyles Quest 2, um, Gun Knack. This was the other game I got in that, <coughs> excuse me, in that Bonks lot. 
and I got this. It has the manual too. I got the manual floating around here somewhere. Um, so I got. I ended up getting gun neck with a manual. I'm looking for that manual right now. I think it's right here. Yeah. Gun neck with the manual. Bonks with the manual. A couple consoles. A bunch of decent titles. All for two hundred dollars. It was an amazing score. Um, trying to get this to focus here. We got Fire and Ice. I actually got that one from my buddy at a really good price. Wacky Races, uh, RC Pro Amp 2, uh, Tengen Tetris there, Feria, Battletoads Double Dragon. Um, we'll move down here to some of these ones. Uh, Chubby Cherub, Color of Dinosaur. This one's um, Baby Boomer. I uh, got a Sweet Home reproduction cart there. North and South, the Kari Warriors, or not the Kari Warriors, Wizards and Warriors 3, Super C, Darkwing Duck, Battletoads, all the Ninja Guidance. I actually just got this one this past weekend with the manual. Pretty excited just to have the rest of them. Um, then, you know, I have some more good games going down here. Got some in a stack here in that case there. I got some on that shelf over there, um, but I'm going to show you some of my boxed ones now too. Um, I have all the Dragon Warriors box. This is actually, uh, what's that? that's a Dragon Warrior up there as well. This game right here is probably my favorite game on original Nintendo. Uh, love this game. I can play it again and again. Got all the Mario Brothers. Um, this is probably my best, or at least most valuable boxed game, is Contra Force. Um, box has a little bit of wear on it, nothing too major at all. Um, manual and cart are both in amazing condition. Um, coming down here, I got all the Mega Mans, um, all complete in box. Some of them are in really good shape, um, like I think my Mega Man 1 is in really good condition. Sorry about that glare. And whereas games like Mega Man 3, let's put that there for right now. The box, you know, you can see the creasing, but it is, <coughs> excuse me, it is Mega Man 3, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I also have this Mega Man 10, which uh, someone on Nintendo Age made. It's um, like a press kit. They did one for 9, so he actually made one for 10. It's still sealed. Um, it's pretty cool. I wish I had a second one so I could open it. Um, I might open this one at some point, too. I don't know. I have an Earthbound Zero uh, reproduction here. Down here I have uh, Tetris. Tetris is one of my favorite games. Love some Tetris. Um, Final Fantasy, Life Force, Contra, all three Castlevanias. Um, here's another pretty nice uh, a game to have in a box, Metal Storm. It's a pretty rare game. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty hard. <clears throat> Good, like, side-scrolling platformer, shooter. G.I. Joe, Atlantis Factor. Um, down here, I just got this yesterday for 15 bucks. Box is in great condition. I already had the game and the manual. So I actually have an extra game and manual. Um, use it for some trades. A um, couple black box games. A um, couple classics, Kid Icarus and Metroid. Um, Lemmings and Bucky O'Hare, you can see here. These games are not really, um, they're not really cheap titles. They're good, like, mid-range titles. Um, complete in the box, pretty nice. Nice to have those. Um, moving down here, I got some River City Ransom. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. This Indiana Jones, it's not the... Excuse me, it's not the Tengen one, it's the Mindscape one, but it is in like amazing condition. It still has the cellophane on it. Um, got Turtles 1 and 2. I have Turtles 3, I don't have it in the box though. Um, got some other games hidden in here. You can kind of see some other stuff over here. All in the box, so. Um, all in all, that is my Nintendo collection. Um, I hope to continue to do more videos. Like I said, this is really my first one. It's kind of a rough run through. Um, I have zero training or professional skills on this, so I'm looking for any type of feedback would be appreciated. Um, if you can give me a sub, that would be appreciated. Leave any comments. Give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, I hope to do more soon. Thanks for watching.